Machu Picchu trek was really cool. I, I looked it up. So four days, three nights, we had, uh, it was $53. That's what it cost to get. We had a guide, porters, that would bring the tent, sleeping bags, food was included. And um, it's 45 kilometers that we walked. Wow. But it's You're it's going up fuck. mountains. Like it's... Yeah, I hear what, one day it's like we did five hours going up the mountain you do three meters and then you go down for four hours mm. <laughs> <That's Wow. what laughs> <it is. laughs> because you gotta cross <laughs> the andes and it's just that it that's what uh, the inca empire was um was really famous for the their trails inca trails and they had um runners to give messages because like Machu Picchu is one of the big cities but then uh when the uh what what was his name the Pachucamac or whatever his name was <laughs> the, okay. the Inca um, he would say okay from now on you know this is the new rule and then all the runners would start running in on different Inca trails to go to every village Inca village to to tell them so they had like little huts where they could sleep or, or switch runners and all that so uh it's so you get to visit that like all along the way the fourth day we got up at 4 15 a.m to do the last two hours to get to Machu Picchu to see the sunrise on Machu Picchu and it was really like magical because you get there it's it's huge and that's like this is old and all the stones are not from there they were all oh. brought yeah like the, the the Incas brought them up mountains and like they were Jedi's. Yeah, because supposedly they didn't have like wheels or anything. Less. Like they pushed it up mountains and they um they cut it over there so that everything fits perfectly. Uh there's like no mortar in between. They all just have it's called the Ashkan. So not even a blade knife can go through. Like you can't put a blade knife in between uh, the. Um... We were showing you. Stones. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's That's insane. Uh, yeah, it's really really cool. Um, it's, I mean, it it's beautiful. And the reason why it's so well preserved, it's because it's on top of a mountain. Actually, uh, um, uh, it means uh, old mountain in Quechua. Machu Picchu means old mountain. I trained in okay. Canada for a month. I went, I took a membership. It's the only time in my life that I was a member at a gym. And it was for a month. And it was a month. Yeah. It was two weeks trial period. So I actually paid for two weeks. That's yeah. it. <laughs> you were like, what, on the treadmill walking, going up down the stairs or something? Yeah, I, but I like, pretty much only used the, the, rack, uh, the um, squash courts. And, <laughs> and the pool and but but you know, cardio we, is important for this yeah very important. cardio yes. yeah because like, uh, it's hard i heard people train before going up there because it's hard Maybe some it, people it, don't make it exactly well oh, we no left doubt. with 10 people in our group and uh two of them had to to go back because they uh yeah. they were like they were sick they couldn't they couldn't make it and they were um, done it's yeah. the altitude, but also the lack of oxygen as you're mm -hmm. climbing. Good and it's, it's is, yeah, but it's all yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of exactly because you go up to uh, yeah. like four thousand seven hundred meters, one of the peaks. You know, it's it's wow. it's quite high and it's 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 tough. But uh, I, don't you, know, I was like you, twenty one, so yeah, <laughs> didn't matter. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 so yeah. you camp there? Guess, there's yeah. where, there's a hotel up there. No, you, you have no. So we had porters that porters would, that with tents that brought tents, yeah. And uh, and actually, Ooh. Chef Fran Francesco, the first time I had stuffed um, uh, the poivron, stuffed peppers was peppers. there. Like they made like awesome food for for camping on the Inca Trail. Uh, we had like <laughs> great food all the time. <laughs> so it's easy to carry and preserve, right? So it's easy to bring it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, uh, wow. that was really, really good food. And, Man, imagine uh, those guys carrying all that stuff, too, and they go up. Did and you imagine this? They run up. They run up. 
That's what, what they do. The porters, le, they, they have like a backpack. They have a <laughs> strap here holding on to something else. Like Tibet. And, and they run up the mountain. Oh. But wow. they're, they're small. They're smaller in size. And they have really big chests because their uh, um, lungs are bigger because yeah. of hey. the lack of oxygen. So yeah. they have bigger uh, air, like airways and air lungs so that more oxygen can flow. And, and so and they're they're the other fun fact, for that. It's probably all, it's fun. The other fun fact is probably chewing all those cocoa leaves too. They got so I much energy just, to corrupt the ring. Yeah, probably. All <laughs> the energy like, too, huh? How can I get this joke? Yeah. <laughs> you beat yeah. me to the punch. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take you to go up the hill, the the mountain? Um, like the forty five for forty five kilometers. You said four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Forty five oh, kilometers. No, 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 no. Forty five <laughs> kilometers is in total what we did four days. But okay, no, yeah. four days. days. Okay. And I mean, 45 kilometers is like <laughs> going straight like a bird, but right. you go up and down mountains. Right. So it's, it's, it's way more. Yeah. A lot I, um, more. yeah. So yeah, four hours. And then you're like, all oh, right. So you're, cause you're sweating going up for hours, you know, and then you're on top of the mountain and you're like, oh, wow, it's so beautiful, but it's windy. And in like 10 seconds, you're like super cold. <laughs> it's really, okay. really cold. Crazy. Like we ran down, we, cause it's easier to like skip down than go down one at a time. Yep. So Absolutely. that was, um, that was fun, but it was also raining a lot, you know, uh, Actually, it's pretty cool because you start down in the valley and it's raining and then you go up and at one point you go on top of the clouds. So on top of the mountain, wow. it's sunny, but then you go back down and you go back down in the rain. Right, right. <laughs> that's why. <wild. laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, but it's, it's cool. Anyways, I uh, seriously, Peru is, there's like so much history. There's so much different um, civilizations that were there. Um, you, if you can go one day, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite uh, countries from South America. 